Hey, everybody. Welcome to Uses of Accounting Information 2. Uh, probably if you're taking this course, you've already taken a course with me, uh, Uses of Accounting Information 1, but it's possible you took it somewhere else and transferred here. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the course is set up. Um, so here I am on the homepage of the course. Um, at the top, you'll have announcements. Please check those. When I post something there, it's usually something important. Yeah, I mean, weekly, I usually put out um, just what to expect for the next week, which is kind of important. But also, I put out more important messages as well. Um, so check that each week. Um, of course, you know, the syllabus link is where you can see the syllabus, uh, which has everything kind of spelled out for the course, what to expect. Um, it also has my contact information, uh, a link to my Zoom room uh, if you need it. And at the very bottom, it even has a summary of all of the, the assignments uh, and when they're due. Um, the course is really structured in modules. So you'll, you'll click on the modules and it will lead you in here to the Canvas overview um, and then a welcome and a begin here. Um, some textbook information. Again, we continue to use the Cengage uh, books and the Cengage homework system um, because of the cost. And really, it's it's about as good as all the others. None of them are perfect, um, um, and each has its own challenges. But the fact that you can buy um, for one fee, you can get all of your Cengage uh, course materials uh, is very attractive to us. Uh, and hopefully, it's saving you some money. So just so you know, in case you didn't take the course here, um, uh, Cengage will allow you to uh, pay a single fee and then all courses that use Cengage, which I think right now is about 12 or 14 of our business courses uh, are included uh, in, in that price. So if you, you can pay for four months, which is one semester, a year or a two year access. Uh, and actually the prices have gone up a little, I'll have to update this. I think it's 124 for four months. Um, and 189 and, or maybe even 199 and 249. Um, and then you can also, if you want to, you can get a hard copy of the book sent to you for use during, uh, the, the four months of the course. So, um, that's how it's set up. Let's see. So the other thing in the modules, again, I'm guessing most of you know this because most of you took accounting one, but, uh, the modules are set up with an overview and to-do list, which tells you what to expect for that week, a link to the textbook for reading that chapter. You really should read through it. I know a lot of people try to get through these courses without reading. I'm not saying read it. You don't have to read it cover to cover, but read through the chapter and familiarize yourself with the material. Um, there's also additional study resources that people sometimes miss. Um that includes a, a lecture video uh, that I've recorded from class. So it can be kind of long, but you can just skip through and find the parts you need. But also videos from web-based resources that I've sort of curated uh, and found in there. Most of those are shorter, six minutes, eight minutes, uh, and sometimes links to other places uh, like, like Accounting Coach or other websites that I think are valuable to you. So don't miss out on those, especially if you're struggling with something. Know that I've put... Um, a bunch of additional study resources with each chapter. Um, then there's the individual assignments um, and, and so forth. Uh, when you get into the next chapter, chapter 16, just like in accounting one, if you took it with me, uh, there's also a guided assignment each week. Uh, the guided assignment is an assignment that we work out together. You can watch the presentation, which is a video of me working out the same problem you're expected to work out. Um, and then work it out along with me. It's intended to help you uh, do the homework uh, because the guided assignments have some similar um, similar properties to some of the homework assignments. Uh, and then the other stuff over here, of course, the grades tab is where you can see your grades. Uh, you've probably learned by now that the grades in, um, in uh, Cengage are not perfect. So use this grades tab. This will be what your final grade is based off of. Uh, NetTutor is a resource a lot of people miss. If you're struggling, you can click on that and make an appointment with a live tutor online. Uh, and of course, you can also make appointment with our tutors here on campus. Um, and so we have that assistance for you. There's also a link to the library and the bookstore over here. So that's kind of just a, a, I guess, a brief rundown of how the course is set up. 
Um, I do kind of follow the same pattern in every course and in each uh, module of the course. And I know that can be boring, but the intent is to make it structured so that you know exactly what to expect each time. Um, as always, you can reach out and I will do my best to get back to you within that day. It's tough sometimes if you hit me on a Friday late afternoon or evening, I may not get back to you until Monday. And just so you know, I have courses all morning on Monday, uh, like face-to-face -face classes. So I, I, I usually don't answer emails until Monday afternoon. I do try to check on Saturday, but it's not, I, I can't always, just depending on what's going on with my family and other responsibilities. Uh, anyway, so I hope that's helpful to you. Again, check the announcements. Don't be afraid to reach out if we ever need to meet face-to-face -face or make a Zoom appointment. I'm totally willing to do that uh, to help you through something. Um, have a great semester, and uh, don't be afraid uh, to reach out if you need help.